Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kickstarter unboxing video hosted by Spellstorm Miniatures. My name is Dan, and today I'm checking out Hexplorer Magnetic Tile System that lets you create maps like this. So if you want a neat way to create some macro maps real quick and easy, go ahead and check this one out. It is by Headless Hydra Press. This was a fairly small Kickstarter, 408 backers, just over $35,000. But if you missed out on it, it's not too late. I'm going to put a link down below in the description showing where you can go and purchase these. I do have to give a good shout out to Shane. He's been very responsive to messages and regularly put out updates. This project was even delivered early. It was set to deliver January of 2021, but it was actually delivered the other week in November. You can use a variety of different magnetic surfaces of your own. Mine was a magnetic whiteboard that I had around. I have an even larger one, just it's very hard to put on screen, and that will let me create a giant map. And when I say giant, there are plenty of tiles in the one that I backed at 88 bucks. It was hard to beat. So let's go ahead and dive on in and check out what's in the bag. Now, first off, we've got the main bag. Like I said, I got the Wilderness Continent. This was $88 in the Pledge Manager, and you can actually go and buy this in his online store right now. I'll try to find a link down below. But we have a couple tile picks, which will come in handy here in a minute, I'll show you. And then just 323 tiles to create your own little world on a magnetic whiteboard or any other magnetic surface you have. It's just nice because you could kind of write notes around it. Let's dive into it. So, you know, this is actually kind of way all these tiles get to be a lot, but they're very thin magnetic, decent printing on them. I don't know if that's just because they're rubbed, but you can't really see it unless I hit the exact light. There's a couple, probably printer or something. That goes through them. But again, you got tons of them here. So this is obviously the first time I'm opening them up finally. Take a look at them. You got a lot of tiles. Obviously these ones are all the same. Should be 10 of them, I believe. All right, actually 15 of those. Just had to look it up real quick. Though so the rest are probably somewhere around in here. Uh, along with your roads and so forth. These would be about 10 of them. That's where it is. It's hard to keep track of some of them 10, some of them 15. Anyway, these are great for creating your borers to your continent or a lake of some sort. Look at that, they're already attached pretty good. So let's go ahead and try out one of our branded tile picks here. Nice and smooth. Oop, that one got away from me. All right, otherwise you're trying to pick at it with your fingers. So just that little bit of thought of including something like that is actually pretty neat. I get, gotta give it to the hands of the creators for that. There we go. The other great thing is there are tons of options in here for those water routes and so forth. So let me go ahead and get these to the side and see what else we got. Those are basically all roads and water. You get some towns, more rivers, waters, roads. It's kind of important when you think about it, get those different paths going on. So let's see how those kind of line up. I mean, granted, you're gonna have a little bit of a black line, but it's a lot easier than drawing your own map to wherever you're going. Maybe a little windy road. Create something pretty quickly. And say it leads into a town. That is adjacent to some, a river or something that goes through the land here and road back out. Giving them a try here, first time. They sit pretty flush. Not precisely, maybe a little bit of manipulation, learning how to use them, but come out pretty good. What else we got in here? Lots of water. <laughs> Lots of water to create your continent. There's some straight roads. Chuck one of those guys down there. Actually holds really well. For such a thin magnet, I actually was a little surprised on how well they, A, will stick to each other a bit. You know, you got a clump of them. Try to get off. Yeah, see, now I gotta get used to using that little tile pick. Be a pro by the end of this video. So there are lots of the roads. Got some other castles or ruins that you can have sitting around, perhaps a cave. Mysterious cave with a creature tormenting the town or something. 
volcano. Don't necessarily want to live too close to that guy. Crossroads. Really a nice variety. There are a few doubles of the bigger ones, but again, you're going to have those towns or fill out your lakes or your oceans. Do a mountain range. This is part of the fun of it, is that with these, you don't have to sit there drawing your map out necessarily if you want to give your players something visually to cue in on a little bit more. So I always found was the macro world of traveling in between could be a little cumbersome if you didn't want to draw out a map or print something out. All right, let's take some of that glare off, put it up top. Lots of water, <laughs> lots and lots of water. Get more mountain ranges, open field. Not everything's going to be a forest, but you got plenty of that as well. So we create our own forest land here. Road into. Obviously, you have a bigger board. You could do a much larger map, but even on this smaller board, I can create a decent world pretty quickly. And you're just watching me do this and just play with them. Eh, maybe that would be turned for the first time. So yeah, eh, I wouldn't go quite together. So maybe we'll take a little bit of getting used to of kind of what's really what's what and separating them out. Either way, I'm looking forward to being able to use these sometime and just create fun things. One thought I was having, and I'll show you a little bit that idea with the, the hero customs. These were submitted by backers and they created quite a handful of them. Now, if I recall, he didn't really set a limit on how many were gonna be in here. It's however many people back to that point and had an idea. Now granted, these are all individually unique. So for the fact of delivered early on time, took suggestions, delivered a good number of these. So again, just amazing going from creating all of these out of suggestions. But like I said, one thought I had if you wanted to create a map is just grab a few of your main designs and practically, now granted I already have all this map out here, was literally just chuck them down find out where they land, and that is pretty much your map. So I'm really excited to play around more with this, as I stated many, many times. Just so many possibilities, really, especially with the hero customs, I think add a large variety. Now when you look on there, they also created some more modern ones with modern roads and a sci-fi pack and so forth, even a high seas one, which I think there was a sample kind of one in here of what that was almost like with the more beach feel, kind of a pirate campaign maybe, or something. Oh, there's, there's a modern road, for example. Um, so these do cover a variety. There's kind of the more high seas looking one. Your magical forest, space even. One random one could be an interesting thing going on there. Some more roadways. Anyway, maybe I'll play around with this some more, try to create another map, see what fun we can have. All right, with a little video magic, we have a full map here. I put this together in a few minutes. It probably took me a little bit longer because I was just learning all like the different river pieces here and you got all the different roadways. Mainly it was kind of just sorting through and finding. Good problem to have I suppose is too many choices. As you can see I've got a fairly decent sized map here with just a couple attractions you know just tossed a fort in, town, little sawmill or something, chasm, a couple points of interest you know a little portal going on over here, crossroads to somewhere else, maybe an ancient ruin to explore, got a a monolith or a memorial of some sort, another little town crossing. Then it kind of made a build here feeding out over. So just had a little fun with it. One thing I did notice, most of the printing is pretty good. This little town piece though, not sure if it fully missed this or it's supposed to be like that. Might just have gotten a bad batch in there. I'll probably reach out and ask about that one. But otherwise, all pretty clean. I mean, looks nice and again pretty easy once I had the organization down and the other thing I noticed was a lot of the gaps um, 
probably I'm guessing just how it's cut is you just start getting slight differences and so it becomes a little bit more noticeable on a few pieces here and here for example that really start pointing out maybe I could have pushed them together tighter again for a nice little quick map it's not so bad especially for the price I think I could have got away with this much smaller because that's that size this is still like all the water pieces I have stacks of them right then I've got open area, more forest. I mean, I could go forest. I could have covered this whole thing in just forests, I think. Even more water. Really likes water. But the nice thing about the water, I was playing around with, especially up here, was to try to get different effects going. It's almost like a little island in there. It's really matching them up. That was probably one of the longest pieces of doing this. Uh, I kind of just cheated here, just made it go straight. Either way. So you got water, 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 more water, some more towns. Some of these I might just keep to the side because you can only use really use so many towns or forts across there or caves. But if you happen to lose one, one gets beat up, then you have spares to go. Or you just have a system of caves, perhaps. Ugh, sorry, <laughs> bit to handle. It's a large stack. Again, the fields and forests, mountains, plenty more mountains, bigger towns, more roadways really play off of that as well it's one I didn't toss in here but just kind of another town or fort and again the hero customs with a lot of different variety now mine might be a little hard in this map to fit in here but I could have easily done that maybe a snow peak again just whatever you kind of want to go with you can come up with a different attraction or just Grab one at random to make some decent encounters. Very happy with this set and how it's all kind of turned out. And for the purchase price and the quick turnaround, I mean, frankly, it's kind of one of the better Kickstarters. I'm sure as gets more used to this or gets more orders, maybe be able to clean up some of the issues here if this is a printing issue and just some of the cutting, maybe get a little bit better cutter to get it more uniform. Other than that, thank you for watching. If you're liking the content, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to give a comment down below if you have any questions or maybe you have another Kickstarter or you backed this one, some ideas on how you're using it. Don't forget to check out our podcast, spellstormminiatures.com. 